Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with me, please. Praise the Lord, 39. Message 39. Thank you for your time for being with me. And I wanted to, uh, I just got done reading what I tried to read God, God's Word every morning because it's a source of encouragement because it's God talking to us. Man, you're going through a tough time or anything, you need encouragement in your life, go to God's Word. Start reading, especially the New Testament. God's Word. And you see the dark clouds behind me. Uh, just uh, when I saw the dark clouds, I was thinking uh, the darkness that fell over the earth as Jesus was being crucified on a cross for us. And I'm continuing on in a series talking about the seed that is spoken of in God's Word. And the seed refers to Jesus Christ. And I read to you from Genesis 28 in my last message. And it talked about the seed of Jacob. And that's Jesus Christ. And it's revealing to the world, to Jacob, I'm bringing into this world the one you need to save you from hell. Because I love you. God's plan. Showing us how faithful he is and he loves us. And he desires for no one to perish, but to have eternal life with him forever. And that's why we have Jesus Christ. And that's why we have the Bible that tells us Jesus Christ came into this world as God to be our Savior, our Lord. And uh, thinking of Mary, uh, you know, the dark clouds, Mary... The mother of Jesus was right there at the cross when her son was killed. And she saw it. She must have trembled. And I wanted to share this song, uh, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, or it's called Near the Cross, written by Fanny Crosby. Near the Cross by Fanny Crosby, words by Fanny Crosby spoke of her before. Also I have also here William H. Don. D-O-A-N-E. Jesus keep me near the cross. They are a precious fountain. The fountain, the pouring out of his blood for us running down the cross, running down his body because of his love for us. Free to all, a healing stream flows from Calvary's mouth, that place where they crucified him, the God, also called Calvary, the place of the skull. Jesus, keep me I said Mary was was there when her baby boy <laughs> wasn't a baby anymore was being crucified and I want to talk to you about that seed I told you and the offspring it's also called in the Bible offspring 
And I'm going to take you to Mary, her words, as she was pregnant <laughs> with her baby boy, Jesus. She was pregnant by God, by the Holy Spirit. And it's revealed to us in God's Word for sure. And I'm going to share the words of, of Mary, the mother of Jesus, as she was pregnant by the Holy Spirit, not by any man, but by God. And she gives us great words of God. You know, on Mother's Day, I... I said to the congregation, I said, who, who do you believe is the most blessed mother? And I said, Mary must, must be, because uh, she gave birth to the Son of God, to God the Son. And uh, these are the words of Mary from Luke chapter, chapter 1, starting at verse, verse 46. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. True. For he who is mighty has done a great thing for me. And holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him. From generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. And I believe that's clearly pointed out in Isaiah 59, 16. He has shown, he has shown strength with his arm. God and his... His own being provided our salvation is talking about. He was the only one who could save us from hell. But it's because we've all, we're all sinners. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones. And exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel. Remember I told you in the last message. Jacob became known as Israel. He has helped his servant Israel and all the descendants of Jacob. All of us he has helped when we know Christ. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. And he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring forever. Now Abraham was the grandfather of Jacob. Abraham bore Isaac through Sarah. And then Isaac, through Rebekah, I believe, became the parents of Jacob, who I, who I mentioned in the last story. So here's Grandpa Abraham. And Mary says this, And he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his offspring. Singular. In the Greek, it's the word sperma. It's singular because it's talking about one person. Jesus Christ. And she points to the seed. To the offspring, the sperma. Jesus Christ that God blesses the people of Israel. God will bless all nations through the seed of Israel, the seed of Jacob, the seed of Abraham, and that's Jesus Christ. When you see forever here, you know we're talking about God here. And Mary concludes with, and he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring forever. Jesus is forever. He is the offspring. 
He is the seed of Isaac, Jacob, Abraham. And I'm going to sing a little more of this verse. Thank you, Jesus. Come near the cross. And thank you for shedding his blood for you. Trembling soul, love and mercy found me. There, the bright and morning star, Jesus, sheds its beams.